in question number 2 a ray of light is incident normally on the hypotenuse of a right angle prism as shown in the diagram the refractive index of the prism is root 3 root 3 happens to be the refractive index of the prism material of the prism and we are supposed to find angle of emergence so let's try I, for a benefit I would like to draw a diagram for you rays incident normally and hence it is refracted without deviation and it strikes on the other surface now at this point of at this point on the surface the ray happens to travel from the denser region to the rarer region so we need to check whether this ray will suffer total internal reflection or there will be refraction at this point to check it now let us apply this formula sin c is equals to 1 by mu and mu happens to be the refractive index of the denser region with respect to the rarer region and is given to be 1 by root 3 sin c and if I happen to solve value of c this turns out to be about 35 degrees is it right so this is the value of critical angle now at this point this is the normal this angle is given to be 60 degree so this angle will also be 60 degree and the angle of incidence for this point got to be 30 degree now because angle of incidence is less than the critical angle and hence the ray, the ray will suffer refraction at this point is that right so apply refraction at this point p now as you apply refraction so you should be writing that mu root 3 the refractive index of this medium root 3 into sine of 30 degree this is Snell's law of refraction and the refractive index of this medium is 1 and hence this is 1 multiplied by sine of angle of emergence is it right so this implies that root 3 multiplied by half this is equals to sine of e so the angle of emergence so angle of emergence got to be 60 degree is that right this ray deviates from the path and the angle of emergence happens to be 60 degree this should be the angle of emergence so a is the answer